People love learning more about themselves, whether that be what type of ramen they should eat based on their star sign or perhaps a strategically thought out quiz that they find on your website that gently points them towards your offers. Yep, today we're talking about quizzes, kind of like those ones on BuzzFeed, but these quizzes are actually going to help you grow your audience and business. If you've been looking for new ways to give your subscriber list a boost, then a quiz might just be the perfect opt-in to add to your business. So today we're going to show you the exact step-by-step of how to set it up in this awesome platform called Interact. It's where we host our quiz, which is linked down below if you want to check it out. And it's really, really easy to use. It integrates with any website platform and also has really built in solid analytics. All of the resources, links, and written version of this post are linked below this video. So if you're ready to set up your quiz, our lovely Shelby is going to walk you through it now. Okay, so to get started, you are going to want to head to tryinteract.com and click on the start free trial button once you're there. You can then choose your plan and follow all of the prompts to set up your account. Once you're inside, it should look something like this, and you can either choose to start a quiz from scratch or pick a template. You can scroll through the templates over here, and you can also filter by industry over on the left-hand side. Now, we, of course, love templates, so we generally tend to recommend starting with a template just to make the entire process so much quicker and easier. But for this tutorial, I am going to start from scratch just so that you can get a really good picture of the editor and how to customize something from the ground up. But if you're customizing a template, it's all going to work the exact same way. You'll just be starting with some existing colors and fonts and images. If you did want to start with a template, all you'll have to do is choose one that you like. You can hover over it and either start using the template right away, or you can preview the template just to get an overall look of what it might look like before you start customizing. Okay, so to start a quiz from scratch, you'll want to click on start from scratch, and then you'll pick which type of quiz you want to make. Our favorite quiz and the quiz that we tend to recommend the most is the personality quiz. This is the BuzzFeed style quiz where your visitor is going to choose an answer that best suits them and then eventually be led to a final result. Because this is the type of quiz that usually works best for bringing in new leads, this is what I am going to show you how to build and customize in this tutorial but feel free to check out these other quizzes as well. The assessment quiz is kind of like your classic quiz where there is one question and one correct answer for that question. And the scored quiz is going to assign a value to each answer. And then at the end, your visitor will be given a value somewhere in a range of values. So let's go ahead and choose personality. And we will then be taken into our quiz editor. Here is where we can start customizing the overall look of our quiz using some of these options up in the top editing bar. So first you should see quiz colors highlighted and you have a bunch of different options of things that you can customize here. So to change the color, you'll just click on the little color dot above whatever it is that you're customizing and you can go ahead and either use the color picker to change around your color depending on your brand or the style that you want or you can choose to enter a custom hex code. Next, you can click on the little text icon to customize the fonts of your quiz. You can click into this little font bar here and scroll through all of the different Google fonts that they have available for you. You can filter here by typeface, or you can also just search a font directly if you know exactly what you're looking for. You can also change the color of your fonts by clicking on this little color dot and playing around with the color picker or entering in a custom hex code. You can also choose to enter a custom logo by clicking on this image icon if you'd like, but note that this is a premium feature only. Next, we are going to get into editing the content on our quiz cover page, which is what you are looking at right here. First, you'll wanna enter in a quiz title, which you can do by clicking into this little text box here and typing in whatever you'd like to be your title. So something that is clear and is going to let people know why they're taking this quiz. Next, you can click on edit cover image to add your photo. And you can do this either by uploading something directly from your computer or clicking search for images to choose a free stock image from Unsplash. So you can just type something in that relates to your quiz topic and then choose from all of the lovely photos that they have. Once you've chosen your photo, you can crop it to the exact place that you like and then click crop and save and it will populate straight in there. 
Next, you can add in a little quiz description here. So just something to tell people what they might have in store for them. And then you can click on the button here to edit the button text. So you can change this to start the quiz, let's dive in, whatever you'd like. And that is your cover page done. Now let's get into entering our questions and results. For this example, I'm gonna actually enter the results first, which might seem a little backwards and you can actually do it either way. But because the mapping of your answers to your results happens within the questions tab, it's just a little bit of a time saver to enter your results first. That way, once your answers are all in, you can just go ahead and map them to your existing results and finish everything up. So to customize your results, you'll click on the results tab in the left-hand sidebar. You can see I have some example results here. And editing these pages is going to work pretty much the exact same way as it did for the cover page. So you can enter a title, add an image, and enter a little description right here. The most important part of your results page is going to be this call to action button, which is where you'll include a URL for a product or a resource or a service of yours that you think will best fit those that end up with this final result. To add your link, you'll click on URL and copy it right here into this bar. You can choose to have it open in a new tab and then save it when you're happy. Now, when your visitor clicks on this call to action button, it will take them directly to that link. And that's pretty much it for customizing your results page. Really straightforward, really easy. If you did wanna give your results a little bit more of an on-brand look, you do have the option to create each individual result page directly on your website and then redirect your quiz's results there. If you wanted to do that, you'll just click on redirect results, choose the result that you wanna redirect, and then copy in the unique URL for that results page. We do have a full tutorial on how you can create individual results pages within your Squarespace website. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to watch that video. It'll be linked in the description below. The last quick thing to note about the results tab is that you can add or delete as many results as you'd like. To add a new one, you'll just click on add new result until you're happy with the amount that you have. And to delete a result, you'll click on the little gear icon to the right and choose remove result. Okay, moving on, let's click on the questions tab in the left-hand sidebar. And here is where you can enter all of your questions and answers. We recommend adding somewhere between five and 10 questions to your quiz, really just enough so that your audience doesn't get bored, but also enough so that they feel like this quiz was worth their time. So whatever that magic number is for you, go ahead and enter that in here. And then within each question, you'll also be able to customize the amount of answers you wanna have. For this, we recommend having as many answers per question as you have final results, just to make the mapping at the end as easy as possible. So if you wanna add more answers for a question, just click on add answer. And you can also delete your answers by clicking on the trash can icon over to the right. So since I inputted four example results, I'm going to have four answers per question. You can also select whether you'd like your answers to be displayed as text, which is what you're looking at right now, or as images, which you can view by clicking use image answers. And then here you'll be able to enter a unique image for each answer, which can be fun and a little bit more engaging for your viewers, but it's totally up to you. If you do decide to use the image answers, you can replace the individual images by either clicking on edit or clicking directly in the little image space. And again, this window is gonna pop up where you can choose to either upload an image directly from your computer, or you can search for a variety of free stock images from Unsplash. And also you have the option of choosing a GIF straight from Giphy. So for example, let's say you wanted to include a image of pizza just for fun, <laughs> we'll use that. So first Unsplash is gonna pop up and you can scroll through all of their lovely free stock images or you can click where it says Giphy and choose from all of the amazing gifts that they have to offer. You can choose something that fits the personality of your quiz and maybe even the personality of the people who you know are going to be taking the quiz. And adding in a gift just really adds to the fun and excitement of taking a quiz. It makes things a little bit more interactive, a little less boring and tiresome, and really just adds to the whole overall effect. Once you have a question set up with all of its answers, you can go ahead and click on edit result correlations and this window will pop up and this is where you can map your answers to your final results. 
To do so, you'll want to click on an answer. It'll be highlighted in red so you know that you're choosing the right one. And then choose a result to map it to. Repeat this process until you have all of your answers mapped to various results. And then when you're happy with how it looks, you can click on save. Once you've done that, if you want to make the order of your answers a little bit less obvious, you can click on the little dot icon to the left of your answer and click and drop to reorder and mix them up a little bit. Okay, so now we are going to want to enable the lead generation. So to do that, go to lead generation in the sidebar and toggle it on. Make sure that you're clicked into where it says set up opt-in form. And here is where you can set up the form that will appear at the end of your quiz so that you can collect all of your quiz takers, email addresses, and other information before releasing them their results. First, you can customize the contact fields. This is things like email address, name, phone number, etc. We recommend requesting a first name and an email address at the very least. You can customize your form settings. And then at the bottom, you can customize the form content. So you can change the title. You can change the description. And you can also change the text size for the button and the color of your button. Once you're happy with how all of this looks and is set up, you can go ahead and click on save and continue, and it will automatically take you to the next step, which is connecting your email marketing platform. If you already have an email marketing platform set up, you can go ahead and find it in this list and follow all of the prompts to connect it. But if you don't already have a platform set up, don't worry, you also have the option to choose a CSV file download, which will allow you to take your new leads information and download them into a spreadsheet that you can then import into any email marketing platform that you decide to set up in the future. So this is a really cool option that you can definitely take advantage of. If you do have an email marketing platform set up, but you don't see it anywhere in this list, you can also choose to connect via Zapier. Once you are happy with how all of this is set up, you are ready to publish your quiz. And to do that, all you have to do is click on publish in the top right corner and then choose how you would like to share your quiz. We also have a full tutorial on how to add your new Interact quiz directly to your Squarespace site. So to make this final step super seamless and really easy, be sure to check out that video. It will also be linked in the description below. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you liked this one, make sure to check out this video too and subscribe. We put out new tech and small business videos like this all the time. So hopefully we'll see you in the next one.